And the ball rolls in Panama City. Match day five in the final round of CONCACAF's World Cup qualifiers. So first quarter, and it is uh, Kellen Acosta. Out swinger, back post. It's snotted just over the bar by Zimmerman. That's a danger off the head of the aforementioned Zimmerman. It's good timing. He, he drifts into that area. Decent ball in the box, and he makes good contact with it. We just talked about him being able to defend aerially on play. Rotate from game to game while rotations mostly absent for Panama. Gondola crossed in dangerously just beyond the reach of the arriving Blackburn. Being able to close down and deny service. The run here, though, centrally from Eric Davis kind of keeps Shaq Moore at bay. Doesn't get close enough, and it's a ball in a really dangerous area. Walker Zimmerman can do nothing when it's on the back post, and Rolando Blackburn just can't get a footing on it. He sneaks just in behind and in between Mark McKenzie and George Bello there, and... Just ball into the area. Quintero bringing it down. Plenty of space and time, and it's... Clear out of the six. To get the ball and create 1v1 situations, whether it's in wide play, you see this one comes off a, a throw-in, and then the space that Quintero is able to create for himself here in the 18. Uh, a lot of the criticism after that. It's just lovely work by Musa. Driving forward now, Musa. The Jet. Options to aim for in the box, looking for Ariola. Lifted in back post and slapped away by Turner. Matt Turner trying to adjust with the bodies in front of him, gets a strong right hand to it. Also, who's dispossessed by Martinez, and here come the Canaleros again with Quintero. The Jet, it's Gondola on his left. Gondola is denied by Turner. It's a terrific save from point blank. There's a poor touch from Acosta that lets him down, and then it's transition moment. Look at the commitment by Gondola to get forward. Quintero driving, and that's a close call there. It's away by Turner now to Gondola, who has provided some threat. Quintero. Parsenas on his left! Well, it's slapped away by Turner, and it had to be as that ball was dipping. When it falls to Barcenas, it's a really good save there in the end. Strong left hand from Matt Turner. Second half underway in Panama City with uh, two changes for the United States. Dangerous ball in, and it sneaks in. Zardes just getting in the way of Matt Turner, and it's the opening goal for the Canaleros. Panama 1, USA 0. The boy who's claiming it. It's, it looks like it's a nice touch by Zardes. Yeah, it looks like it's an own goal, but the warning signs were there in the first half. On set pieces, on corner kicks, the in swinging balls. They do a good job of getting bodies in front of Matt Turner. And you see, it looks like it comes off Godoy. He makes the initial contact, and then it kicks a deflection off of Jossie Zardes and redirects it into the goal. But Acosta going for goal. And always bending away from that top corner. Legit. Lifted toward the edge of the area, Roldan losing his balance, Yedlin just caught by the knee of Eric Davis. It's Ricardo Pepe looking for the angle. It starts by winning that second ball. A little bit of fortune the way it falls, but Ricardo Pepe, as you said, doesn't need a second. Fresh legs of Ayasa took it away. Panama on the break. Took a little deflection off of Acosta. Guerrero trying to slide it through. Well, on the anniversary of the most famous night in Panamanian soccer history, when four years ago they clinched a first ever World Cup Finals. Now a famous win over the United States, a first for the Canaleros. The goal by Anibal Godoy in the 54th minute, enough to make it Panama 1, USA 0.